Hi family, welcome back to Harvest Men, used to be at Gina's place. I want to thank you for returning and hoping that everybody is staying on their prayers on their knees or in a prostate position praying for all that's on this land. Um, we all know what happened this week with our brothers and sisters, with our family. So I'm hoping that everybody is praying for their loved ones and their friends and people that's in their circle. A family, I want to say a prayer before I start. Father, we come to you in an humble manner to say thank you and to praise your holy name. Yahshua, we thank you for all the messages and for all the direction and the guidance and navigating through this world. We thank you that our angels are there to keep and protect us. Father, we thank you that we have to stay focused and walking in your commandments and walking close to you to help keep our protection, Father. We thank you for your love. We thank you for just all the gifts that you are bestowing. We thank you, Father, that you are getting ready to move. Father, we thank you that you are going to shock the world. Father, we thank you for your love and for everything that's coming, for all the gifts that you bestowed upon your people. All eyes going to be open upon the people, minds, hearts, and souls. Father, we thank you. We love you in your precious holy name. Father, we want to make sure we not leave out our brothers and sisters that are on the street, have no home. Father, we pray that you make a way for them. For this generation has gone through much, and we're just dependent on you. You all we have, Father, in your precious holy name. Okay, family, thank you. Thank you, thank you for listening to that little prayer. Okay, so this was back on May 12th when this was given to me. Um, so in the beginning, the first few sentences, I can't really, I'm going to have to skip over that because it's not ready to for me to reveal that just yet. Which this reveal is going to be coming soon, I'm sure, because we are right there um, for him to start moving and doing some things. I've just been waiting on, you know, his commandments, his command to say, okay, it's time. But let's just read this right here. So he said, he's going to tell us later where he's going to take us to first before the promised land. Yeah, so... I know, but I can't reveal it just yet. Um, but that is is coming up. He said, "Many." This is a message for everyone, and I just want everybody to be attentive and really listen with an ear, because it's got a quite a few um, things in here. It's about three pages long. It's really long, and I just took my time about trying to get it sent out to the masses. Okay, he said, "Many of my children are mixed." But if you have some of my blood, you are mine or belong to me. He said, many people have taken other directions, which cause confusion. Families are dislocated. We'll come together again. And, you know, on the last one, he said, you know, the roof was going to come off the house. And he's going to reveal a lot of the wickedness and a lot of things that was destroyed and have destroyed the families. And he wants to walk in love. Um and be nice and kind. He said the love is what's going is the key is going to break that yoke. Okay, and then he said all was part of the curse. He said mysteries unfold during this season. He said so listen to my prophets. They will tell you truth. All that I share for my people. He said listen, avoid the naysayers. Bring it to me. Not others. Family if you want to take what thus said the Lord to other people and they sway you or whatever, that's going to be on you because I've said this before because he told me this before. Don't listen to naysayers. Take, bring it to him. He has the answers. Okay. He said, life is with me. He has heaven and hell to put people in. So I would not listen to people who, who don't own heaven. Okay, then he said, um, life is with me, he said, not with them, the naysayers. He said, so don't listen or stop listening to the naysayers. He said, too much um, 
faulty lies or traveling in the community. He said, my community. He said, I'm coming. So be ready, not left. He said, all won't make it because of unbelief and those who want to remain in Babylon. Okay, I'm going to hit on this just a little bit about this Babylon. Because baby town, people don't want to let it go. They feel like this is their land or they feel like they have great jobs. They feel like they have great cars. They don't want to let the cars go, the houses go, or for whatever reason. You know what? You're going to have to think through it yourself because if the angels come knocking on your door, you say no. They're moving on. They're not going to be, um, you know, standing around trying to convince you. At this point, if you're not convinced of who he is, I'm sorry for you. I'll just continue to pray because, you know, a lot of people's eyes aren't really continue, um, really open completely. They, um, they are some people just so difficult. They don't think anything is about to happen. They think everything is going back to normal and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. So the only thing I can say is, Get in your prayer closet. So he said, some people just not going to be ready. So he's, you know, he's going to leave them. He said, all won't make it because of unbelief in those who want to remain in Babytown, which is Babylon. He said, I search hearts and minds for faithful ones. He said, put on the armor, children. Look for the hills, which I cometh from mountains. He said, I live. He said, love bursts balloons of joy. So focus on love now. He said, my children, because much will continue to be exposed in families. Remember, love is the key to unlock the door. Pray for your help. Then teach others of my love. He said, and it will and it can help them. He said, first, you must believe. Then he said, almost time to go. I want to hit on that. You see what's going on, on in this land. Okay. I was sent here for a reason. Time is winding up. He's already told me and I've shared with you that he's going to be changing my position. I'll still be doing some prophesizing or giving out messages that he has given me. But that is it's coming. It's just coming. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, later, I will unveil and tell you even more he said um first you must believe he said almost time to go so be ready he said i have a place for all of you he said my angels are waiting command he said they are not to tempt you just protect all my children he said look within heart in their hearts he said they he said there i will be so they may have a certain look and he was saying, don't let it tempt you. Don't let it like intimidate you. So they're probably strong, the strong will angels. He said, the hearts of my angels is everlasting love. He said, they're a gift for mankind. But yet my warrior who follows my, he said, yet they are my warriors who follow direction. He said, lift up thine eyes. This is where your help comes from. Then he said, the father above. And he said, again, be ready. And he said, the journey is long and tedious, but durable. He said, hills, mountains, we may climb, but no one will or shall perish. He said, once you are in my hands, you are in my wings. He said, royal and great you are and shall always be built. We'll, um, hold on shall always be to build my city. He said, live and let live. Freedom of joy, masters, makers of things I instill from birth. So what he's saying, you're going to live and let live and you have all kind of gifts within you to build this city. He said, he put that those gifts, he instilled you as a master maker from birth. And then he said, the big house shall and will fall one day. He said, soon, not long. He said, although you won't be there, you will be gone to safety. He said, only those left to see. He said, thee or there. He's, um, 
their end will see. So what he was saying with that was like only those that's left there will be able to see what's see it fall. He said, those left are to share my word, help those in need, teach how to survive, take root in love. That is the key. He says, so walk close and read my book in Revelation and parts. He said, then connect to D Daniel. These are my revelators. He said, and my prophets in the old, which he means the Old Testament. He said, you must believe their words written. He said, it will be a game changer for many. Fasting will break the yokes prior to reading my words. Send down from heaven, my people. He said, too many are backsliding on the wrong territory after CV. And we know what that was and what, you know, because it's still kind of going on now. He said, so stay focused. There is a time, a season I will move. He said, my team, my army and my helpers are waiting and preparing. So be patient. I am coming for you. He said, much to do, much to come. He said, um, stay, <clears throat> stay ready, hearts and minds. And he said, blessings all ahead. He said, my children, remember, we leave soon. And that was the end of that message. So family, take that to him in prayer. Get in your closet and pray about it. Because he said a lot in that right there. Just know he is around the corner and he is waiting on the season. And he's going to command his angels when it's time. I want to say continue to pray for the ones that lost their lives in New York. I know there was several things going on. There was Florida, Milwaukee, um, L.A., New York. And it was one other place I can't recall right off the top of my head. But just pray for all. Um, yeah, family, 